Hello and welcome back to Battletech. How you doing? Um, so we are going to do... I, I'm just honestly reminding myself here. I, we are going to do a contract. I think it was going to be this one. I think I wanted to do either this one or this one. Um, but this one's off world and this one's not. So we may as well do this one. But we're going to have to wait for people to recover. Um... We can wait 18 days and then we'll do a mission without glitch. Yeah, 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 I know, I'm broke. Let me have some, uh, you know, what, what you call it? Some, some, uh, escapism for a moment, please. Behemoth uh, hops off her bed as you enter the med bay. Commander, it's a miracle. I'm good as new thanks to a little known natural remedy. Got it for a steal on shore leave. A med tech pulls up on a, uh, pulls up an x-ray on a view screen i hate to admit this but somehow behemoth's hairline fracture has regenerated in record time it's perplexing i think you mean amazing don't worry commander it's a completely natural supplement the restorative power is derived from the horn of a stratford narwhal and refined into a powder it's pretty tasty in coffee Medtech's eyes widen with alarm. It would be best if we continued to monitor Behemoth. Even though her fracture has healed, there's no telling what sort of unexpected side effects could be caused by this unapproved treatment. Oh, come on, Behemoth grumbles. It's my week to lead the daily exercises. I don't want to miss that. I've got a killer routine planned. What if the Medtechs analyze the supplement and prove it's safe? Um, ordered the Medtechs to analyze Behemoth's natural remedy. Yeah. No lasting consequences. Like to see that you've got a deal. You turn from Mahima to the med tech. Take a sample of this so-called re uh, natural remedy. Find out how it's working, if it is working. Later that day, a med tech visits the command center with a report. Upon second examination, we found that the substance Behemoth is using contains a natural analgesic. Uh, I don't know that word. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Um, promotes tissue repair, but it also has traces of several illicit narcotics. You shake your head. A narwhal speedball? No wonder she is feeling good. The med tech's brow furrows. Uh, yes, you could call it that. More importantly, the natural remedy has been confiscated, so Behemoth doesn't harm herself. She'll remain in the med bay until all side effects subside. She won't be happy being cooped up in there, but it sure beats having her bouncing around the Argo hopped up on some black market drug cocktail. Um, well, she's okay. She's she's gonna be out of commission for four more days. We're yeah, 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 I know I'm broke. Gotcha. I up that job you cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's um, go ahead and... Um, do we have any experience to dole out? Just want to double check. I have... I'm okay. Behemoth has some. She's close to that tactics Good bonus. Decker is not. Glitch is out of commission. Okay. I mean, this is one of those, like, very rare occasions where having... Well, okay, I say rare occasion. I mean, we could wait for four more days to get Glitch back. I mean, I do like having Glitch, um, you know, available for contracts. She's a good pilot. Let's do Contested Will. And, um... Kind of want to split the difference here. It's probably not a good way of doing things, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, we'll do it, you know, get some money and one cherry pick. I just don't like, I really don't like um, feeling like I, I don't have um, all my ducks in a row. You know, I like I'm not going to get, the, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get at least one part. So, okay, I'm going to throw Decker in the Centurion, of course. I'm going to put Behemoth in the Centurion, the other Centurion. This is the um, Lasers Centurion. And we're going to see how that works. Um, I don't expect it to perform much worse or differently. Well, I have to say the other Vindicator has a medium laser plus. But... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll put that medium laser plus on the blackjack if I'm going to be using it less. If it's going to be swapped out at all, we may as well keep put something on the blackjack because that's not going to get swapped out. At least not commonly. 
I'm gonna do a pause here so you don't have to wait through this. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I didn't actually even look at the mission. This is something I do. I probably should stop doing this where I just take a mission and I don't even look at what kind of mission it is. Oh, you know what? We are still using the scout. Um, if we have an extra beefy mech like a centurion, we should do Vin Vindicator two centurions and the blackjack it would actually be decent. This is where the local government ancestral uh, fortress is located. I almost read forest. Let's get eyes on it and see how many enemy units we're going to be facing. Then move up, clear out any defenders, and hold the area until local government forces arrive to relieve you. All right. Yo, if that voice was any higher, I think that the dogs outside my house would start barking incessantly. You like, you know me, I like to get that high ground. Get that, get that edge, you know? All right. Let's see, let's see how things are going over here. Nothing yet. So, okay, here we go. Ancestral Fortress. This looks like a modern operational military base to me. I don't like this. Watch for enemy reinforcements, Commander. Oh, no. The music is getting good. That means we're in trouble. <laughs> Capture zone. All right, let's uh, let's get in there with glitch. We got we got a really nice um, evasion bonus. Hmm, didn't seem to prompt anything, so I, I guess we have to get there with everyone. No, never mind, we're here. We're here, we're good. What is that? Dangerous. A drop pod is inbound in this location. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of scouting around with the scout. I know that sounds crazy. On my way. Aye, aye. Insane, even. Ooh. Your way. Ooh. What do we got? 55 tons. 55 burgers, 55 pies. Jeez, I Louise. Okay, um, well, let's reserve Glitch until the end of the round. Have her poke her head out. Maybe we can get some bombardments. Um, yeah, we're just going to reserve. Okay, so at this point, we can have her poke her head out, take a look at what's what we got, and then everyone else can move up and maybe take some shots from long range. This is just a normal move. Don't need to tell me what do we got? What do we got? This is the... Oh, well, we can hit the panther. We got a Shadowhawk, Jenner, Spider... Is the panther the 55 tons or is that that would maybe be the shadow shadow hawk hold on mech mediums probably the shadow hawk yeah everything else is light still um okay we have a 70 percent chance of hitting the shadow hawk and the shadow hawk actually has pretty light armor so um let's have a quick look oh yeah the shadow hawk is very well armed uh the panther does have a ppc we will want to take that out and actually this jenner is pretty pretty well equipped as well um still i'm gonna go for the shadow hawk here we're gonna take a take a shot on it well we got a stray shot on something else Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna want to hit that uh, shadow hawk as hard as we can. Um, I don't expect to be able to hit it with much on uh, the blackjack. So why don't we just do a move? Oh, we uh, did I like do that thing where I accidentally moved onto a cliff again? Okay, well then let's just move onto the ground. Um, we only have a 50% chance to hit it, but that will ruin some of its evade. You know what we should do actually? I'm gonna I'm gonna split my shot here and 
Oh wait, I only have one thing to shoot with. So never mind. That 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 is just goofy. No, nothing nothing to do there. I was thinking um, if I had two things to shoot, uh, I could shoot two things and then like just reduce like a bunch of evasion at once. It'd be kind of cool. We're just gonna we're just gonna shoot the Shadowhawk. We actually did hit it, which is impressive. Yes, Commander. Um, again. It's not a great place to be. We can only hit the Jenner. I don't know what we're doing with a Centurion, but we have 25% chance to hit it. We hit it with one thing. I feel like that cliff was just a problem. Um, I do want to hit that Shadowhawk. We've got a 50% chance with uh, at this range, so that's not bad. Let's go ahead and do a precision strike on it. And I'm gonna just aim for the torso since it's exposed, we could probably, well, not probably, we could potentially destroy this thing right now. LRM five crit, didn't seem to kill it. Okay, so um, with the Jenner, the Jenner has like 100% served its purpose. I'm gonna go ahead and sprint away to the forest. It's gonna have really good damage reduction. Um, it's gonna have really good evasion. Oh, they did a sensor lock on her. The evasion's bad now. They may all try and take a shot on her. Miss, okay, but that reduces her evasion. This isn't bad. Okay, that's not great. Wonder if what happens if we like jump onto that building. Wonder why our Oh, it's cuz that thing has like insanely good evasion. Well, how come uh if we jump there? I thought I thought it was seeing like 50%. Was I wrong? Was I completely off base on that? Hmm. I keep seeing 50% somewhere. It's weird. Yeah, okay, so what's the deal here? Oh, I see, it's showing me... <laughs> that's weird. It's showing me the chances of hitting that building. So we're just gonna shoot this thing. I don't expect to hit it, and I don't want to waste a uh, precision shot on it because it's got such crazy high evasion right now. We missed with everything. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Commander. No damage detected. Okay, the Centurion is ended up on a cliff and that's super unfortunate so i'm gonna have to sprint around that's the laser one too so we can't possibly hit anything Commander. But this centurion is actually fine and we can't hit the shadow hawk that's fine we can hit something else oh god the evasion on everything i should have um what i should have done actually no they've already taken their turn I'll, uh, on the next turn, I'll reserve units until they maybe take some shots so that uh, their evasion isn't nearly as so good. I will take some shots. No reason not to, honestly. We hit a couple of things. I'm not expecting good, like, decent damage here. Honestly, if it's just this, this is fine. Um, I'm gonna reserve glitch. She's not in a great position, I won't lie. Might be better to actually have her move. You, like having her sprint to the other forest here might be not terrible. Double time. Like I'm just gonna have her running around, building up some ev evasion. Take like, um, basically take some of the, uh, the brunt of fire off from the rest of them. They seem to be ignoring her. This is what happens. Is uh, sometimes you can just get unlucky. Hopefully, nope. Wow, they're all going to go for the blackjack, huh? Crazy. Armor low, but we're not um, taking internal damage just yet. We have an 85% chance on this. Wow, they did... Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Just, hmm, you know? We got a pretty good chance of hitting that Shadowhawk. I would like to hit that Shadowhawk. So I know we're going to build up a little bit of heat here, but I want to build up some evasion. I know shooting it is also going to kill some of our evasion, but I'm going to I'm going to do it because we have a chance of killing this thing here. 18% chance. I should probably aim for um, the torso. Where where are its arm? Oh, just one medium laser on that side, just one on that side. Uh, let's just try and go for the torso. AC5 crit, not bad. Still didn't... Nothing got blown off, which is wild to me. Okay, we got pretty good odds of hitting the Shadowhawk. We can't actually hit anything else, so that's good. Um, I'm happy to hit the Shadow Hawk. 18% chance. Let's just go for that left torso, why not? Yes! That's what you like to see. And there it is. Center torso destroyed. Alright, now we can start hitting other things. Um, everything else is pretty good evasion. We can hit this panther pretty hard, though. The panther does have a PPC, so it's probably not quite the second heart, like, da most dangerous threat. I don't know what these other guys... Oh, okay, never mind. The Jenner's actually probably the worst threat on, on the field right now. The spider looks like to, to be a puncher. They're a puncher. They punch and then they laser. I said I was going to reserve, didn't I? I didn't reserve anyone. That's really... That was a horrible misplay on my part. I apologize. For exactly the thing that is happening right now, I wanted to reserve all of my units so that, um, you know, they took their shots and then we didn't have to contend with such a ridiculous uh, ev amount of evasion, but it's fine. We can move now. Um, I think I'm just going to punch this thing because we've got a bit of heat built up. So let's just go ahead and do that. Engaging Smack. Medium laser crit. Pop, pop. Nice. Good to go. We can actually start like hitting stuff with glitch. Wow. 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 She can't hit that thing no matter what. She has like no way. Hmm. This thing has like. It's just like in a really advantageous uh, position. Yeah, it's just like, it's, it just kind of sucks. Um, but hey, we uh, never mind. <laughs> never, never mind. Not, not hey, actually. Let's just take some shots on it. So it's got damage reduction because of its position, and we also missed. We've got a pretty good position here aye, aye. on that Shadowhawk. Oh, sorry, Panther. Let's just hit it. Um, we don't have a great position here. Wow, like it like looked away from us, which was actually really good tactics, I feel like. We missed with our third laser, but we hit it pretty hard. So we're just hitting it from behind. Actually, not the greatest because that's it still has armor and it's in its back. But we did hit it hard and we blew off an arm. Some heavy um, so this is a uh, top of the turn order. We could potentially get in here and uh, take out the panther. Yeah. So maybe not ad advantageous for the panther. Wow, that thing absolutely exploded. 
We're not in a great position with the blackjack, and it's now taking internal damage. It's taking damage from the front and the back. Okay, let's uh, reposition. Jenner's not going to be able to shoot us again. At least not with everything. It's it's overheating. Um, kind of wouldn't mind just taking out this uh, spider. I think we can. Well, we, we were going to knock it over. That was kind of a win-win. I think it's still alive. It is. Ready for orders. Incredible that this Jenner is has got so much evasion built up. But let's do a precision shot with it. Nice. Three hits. Blew off its arm. Solid connection on that one. Uh, I really wish... I, I should stop putting Decker in the... Uh, Long range Centurion because he would be it would be so much better if I could do a, multi, a split shot in the uh, Centurion. Um, let's just let's just take out the um, the spider. That thing is like super dead. We'll come over here and we should be able to kill this thing even with the uh, the Jenner. I mean, it's four medium lasers. That's really not nothing to, to scoff at, really. We'll hit it in the center torso. Should should take it out. There we go. Drop ship inbound. Don't land on my precious salvage. Don't you dare. Nice. Easy peasy. You know, ish. We took a little bit of damage. Nothing nothing too major. We didn't complete our sec uh, secret missions, though. I don't know what they would have been. Blackjack took a little bit of damage. Look at all that armor damage, actually. That's kind of insane. Um, so we can build a panther. We are going, going to have a panther. Isn't that nice? See, that's why I like to have one cherry pick. Because that's that gives us the option of like putting the final piece together on uh, on a mech. That mech you asked for. Panther Niners nine R's are solid all around mechs, if a bit on the slow side. They make up for it with jump jets, considerable armor. And a hefty punch from their trademark PPC. Oh, they're a PPC mech, huh? They've uh, been used in physical slugging matches to good effect. No empty... Oh, no. Um, Wait, the Panther isn't 35 ton? I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was bigger than that. I thought it was a 55 ton. Or was that the Shadowhawk? Shoot. Okay, well, we have a spare scout. Um, I guess. I think I'd prefer to sell it, if I'm being honest. 224,000. Yeah, we could really use the money. I'm sorry. I thought it was a, I thought it was the 55 ton. I was wrong about that. We should have taken the uh, Shadowhawk salvage. Oops. Okay, um, let's check the bays. I'm unfortunately I'm gonna whoops I'm gonna need to do a couple more missions to make up some money um reason being is the next thing I'd like to do is exactly the problem we ran into is is upgrade the mech base it's 900,000 it's not a small purchase so we're gonna need to do a bunch of contracts which is just you know more game that's good Noisy, nosy neighbors, six hundred and eighty-four thousand. Hmm. There's a one million. 
those are you know that once they get into the two and a half skull range things start to get really spicy kind of wouldn't mind doing this one what is this well regarded mercenary outfit to engage the capellan confederation operatives on the planet surface and the mercenaries have sent a single well-armed lance um yeah let's let's do this how long is the uh blackjack out of business only one day huh I guess it's only it was only uh, a bit of armor damage oh, I wouldn't mind taking this nosy neighbors it's only one and a half skull in difficulty and again I'll do um, one salvage and 530,000 okay this isn't bad um, I'm gonna switch kind of want to switch Decker Oh, Glitch has that extra initiative. It actually makes her, like, really good. I honestly wonder if uh, my character wouldn't be better in the Centurion. So let's try switching Decker with the uh, Centurion. But, I mean, I guess one thing I'd like to do is... Um, let's swap in the Vindicator with for, for Glitch. I guess in that case, I may as well put... Uh, like we don't have a scout anymore i'd rather keep things consistent glitch was in the vindicator so i think we're good or maybe it was uh behemoth but either way behemoth is such a weird name for a character i know it's they're just their uh tag but still um so this is a we're this is a pretty good size team we still need to you know what actually hold on something i should have done a while ago before i before i do this um, I should make sure that the blackjack actually has proper weaponry. Do we have a... I thought we had a medium laser plus. Is that on the Vindicator? Am I going to have to take it off the Vindicator? Yeah. Okay, let's put the put that medium laser on there. There we go. It's going to take two days. And then Blackjack is going to take the M+. Plus. Wait a minute. Why has the Blackjack been underweight this whole time? When they actually aren't even full on armor. That is very strange. I wish I could put this on the head. I'm going to put that there. I also want to put the small laser on there. And then I want to max out the armor. Wow, it's still, still not full. We're missing... Uh, like, okay, let's... let's uh, do, can we put another heat sink on here? Now it's overweight. Now we back up a bit. There, perfect. I should have done this ages ago. This is long overdue. Should honestly occasionally check that all of the mechs are like well equipped. Oh god, our financial uh, report is coming up. Could do a mission without the blackjack. Don't really want to though. During the daily briefing, Dr. Murad raises a hand. There will be a rare meteor shower on Kimi. I thought it would uh, boost everyone's spirits if we viewed the phenomenon from up close on the observation deck. Sounds risky, Darius shakes his head. It's not like the Argo has brakes. Well, how about we install a telescopic camera on the hull? Dr. Murad persists. Decker volunteered to mount it. Maybe it'd be safer to take the leopard down to Kimi's surface and view the pretty lights from a safe distance, Yang beams. I'll even cook. Um, yeah, let's let's view the shower from the surface. That sounds like a great plan. Let's go planet side, you smile. We've earned some R&R. &R. On secluded corner of Kimi, Yang grills triple F burgers while mech warriors play cards and toss a basketball through a corroded coupling seal they brought to planet side. Once the first meteor zips across the sky, voices rise in celebration, but soon the crowd quietens and the games stop. The company looks on in awe as a hundred points of light stream through the darkness. Back on the Argo, you notice that the crew is in good spirits, but still focused. 
In the hallway, Samire nudges you in the ribs. We should celebrate more often, even when there aren't space rocks flying into nearby planets. Good call. That was the cheapest two plus two morale I think I've ever gotten. So I am going to wait for the blackjack. Um, and I am going to continue to do a generous, you know, maybe the, the, the extravagant is a bit too much. But um, we can at the very least do a generous and uh, you know, our, our morale is almost maxed out, which is great. So there's a no nosy neighbors. Um, pirate forces have been scouting territory near local government controlled land. Pre previous surveys of this land show nothing of interest yet. They are there. They, there they are. Whatever it is that they found, we don't want them to have it. Go in and destroy them. I do kind of wish we could um, do some missions for the pirates. Don't necessarily want to be government mercs. Okay, this is a good... Oh no, we're in that Jenner again. Swap that out. Okay. This is good. Blackjack's got its uh, medium plus laser. I do kind of feel like I'm fighting uphill right now. It's because I need like one really hev heavy hitter. We need like a, a big beefy mech to really kind of be our point. Um, like take point, take lead uh, position. Because like right now we've, we've got a lot of power, but it's a little bit distributed and um you know i have to pay for repairs pretty frequently and uh as a, like as a result of all of that i can't really take like the really crazy good missions because they're a bit too difficult you know it kind of like in cud you you want to gauge how powerful you are and then um you know give yourself a challenge to meet your current level or your current level of progression um, in this game, I think you, you want to, uh, like take, take missions that are easy until you have a good enough team to take something that's more difficult because then it won't be any, it won't be difficult anymore. Move forward and clear them out. We shouldn't let any of them get away if we can help it. Don't worry. I never do. We're going to go swimming already. Destroy enemy units. So now the blackjack is actually our fastest unit. Roger that. Got it. I don't mind that the centurion or at least the long range centurion trails in the back. That's generally how we want things to go. Vindicator is a good close range. Although it does have one large laser. Moving out. Moving I actually feel like maybe I should uh, take a lo that large laser off. Okay, here we go. There's a locust. Oh my god. I actually kind of feel bad for that locust. Good to go. Let's just move up real close, as close as we can get. And uh, I mean, completely destroyed. That locust doesn't stand a chance. It doesn't even have its patented uh, <laughs> uh, evasion. That's the only thing it's usually got going for it. Yes, crush puny locust. I mean, I missed twice and I still broke off a piece of it. What is that? Yo, what is that though? Uh oh. Oh no, glitch took da damage. It's a it's a griffin. I don't know what like what where. I didn't know there. What is a griffin? LRM 10 and a PPC. It's actually, it doesn't really have too much going for it damage wise, but it still hurt glitch pretty badly. Um, I want to hit that thing hard, but I also want to kill that locust. Decisions, decisions. Well, let's uh, have the worst of all worlds. I'm going to dedicate a large laser to the locust and then everything else. On the Griffin. 
Pow. Well, good enough. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't realize it had uh, some damage reduction. Oh, crap. That thing also hits hard. Shadowhawk. Okay, what what can we hit 60 65 60 65 could just take out um puny locust wouldn't be a bad idea what has it got it's not got nothing and it can also hit you know it can punch let's hit that shadow hawk since it doesn't have the damage reduction right now uh, wow it's actually this thing's actually got quite a lot Let's hit that left torso. Pew, 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 pew. AC5 crit, nice. That's what you want to see. And since we're having such good luck, let's uh, maybe hit that shadow. Oh, we don't have another preci precision shot, unfortunately. Boom, 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 boom. Well, we knocked off quite a lot. Goodbye, Locust. He's like, I am out of here. <laughs> He's actually doing exactly what I did in the last match. It's not a bad move at all. Um, the Vindicator is actually struggling a little bit with uh, balance. So we want to step forward maybe a little bit. I think movement actually helps with the balance. But we also, I just want to take out this Shadow Hawk if I can. Pop. Pew, 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 pew. Nice. Okay, the griffin it's kind of a problem but it did miss with the ppc uh i believe that shadow hawk is yeah it's it, all it is is a big hunk of metal that can punch us so let's start hitting this griffin overheat uh i should have i should have punched something probably the shadow hawk Let's take off one support laser and then I'll start punching on the next turn. Standing by. Let's just take out the uh, Shadow Hawk. We don't want to take extra damage from it if, if we don't have to. I kind of feel bad for it. Like, look at it. <laughs> it's like truly a demoralized piece of metal. I know I'm uh, completely um, underestimating the potential of that locust, but I really just want to focus on the, the griffin for now. Confirmed. If I could have knocked it over, that would have been really nice. It's coming back. Ouch, ouch. Was that, was that a piece of paper? Commander? Did a piece of paper just land on me? I think it was. I think that was a piece of paper. Destroy puny locust. <laughs> it's it's alive actually. Oof. Okay, Blackjack has not yet taken uh, any meaningful damage yet. We're gonna go over and punch it. I'm gonna make sure our support laser's on. Let's go ahead and punch it in the forest. So that we have that cover. Go ahead and punch it. Punch it! Smack! Oh, that was a kick. That's fine. Pew, pew. Ready for orders. Crush puny locust. Or, or miss a lot. Oh, he knocks something off. I... That, that locust is actually doing its job beautifully. It is 100% doing its job because it's taking shots from half my team. <laughs> shots that could very, very easily just go towards hitting this griffin. Jump jet destroyed and knocked over. 
kind of wouldn't mind just like if I could injure the pilot like just kill the pilot in that thing then I might be able to get a bunch of parts from a griffin Waiting for orders. okay just just kick that thing okay there we go <laughs> glitch is a uh, yell of frustration exactly matched my fervor okay um we could punch it the griffin i mean i i kind of want to hit it with everything because i'm going to have a, a called shot free called shot and i am just going to hit it actually if i could shoot it in the head that would be like ideal yes head hit pilot injured Orders. so if i hit it one more time i'm pretty sure that will kill the pilot Pilot injured. It's still alive. Yo, it's still alive though. And I also knocked something off. I didn't really want to do that. Ugh. Well, that's not how I wanted things to go at all. I got back up. That's not what we want. And it still has a PPC. And it still has missiles. Um, okay, Glitch is the only one. Well, Glitch has a lot of firepower. So, yeah, let's, um, let's try and go for that headshot. Affirmative. Well, I think that did it, actually. Do wonder what they were looking for. Mission I guess we didn't find what they were looking for. Maybe that's something that we could have done, like a bonus reward. That would have been nice. Okay. Glitch is injured for 23 days. Those injuries really, really suck. Um, we can take a Griffin part. It's a 55 ton mech, but so is the Shadowhawk. What's the advantage on the Griffin wonder? Okay. Three lasers, three missiles. That's not bad. Shadowhawk is three lasers, three missiles, and two support. So, not sure what the advantage... I think the Griffin just has a ridiculous amount of armor. Durability doesn't seem to be better than the, the other Shadowhawk, at least not by much. Striker Cavalry. Griffin role is sniper and fire support. Well, I do really like that. I just... Um, it kind of sucks going for the first part when we could be making progress towards an like genuine second mech but i guess i'll do this and i might uh you never know i might get lucky and get the shadow hawk part there's always that i did not get lucky i instead got the locust part oops unfortunate okay i think we can do one more mission Um, let's do a pause here. It was literally the next second. You're, 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 you're welcome. I saved you like a second there. Um, we are gaining some nice, like decent experience here. Uh, what is this ability? I'm not sure. I kind of want to still like s save up for that tactician. Waiting for orders. Oh, wow. Behemoth has, well, she's going to get that benefit. Mech warrior training complete. Uh... Big Simple's not there yet. Decker's not there yet. Glitch. She's already got it, so she can start taking other things, like gunnery. Medusa. I mean, Medusa isn't even going on missions right now. So now I want to do clean out the mercs. Well-regarded mercenary outfit, except uh, we are waiting on on glitched like this. This is the problem, right? Um, in, in a way, taking damage sucks worse. Or uh, um, sorry, let me rephrase. Uh, pilots getting injured is worse than taking damage 
because we us waiting around waiting for them to to recover is actually worse than just like the the cost of repairing the mech speaking of which i think i do need to do some repairs no i don't so we'll take medusa on a run uh i believe glitch was the only one yeah they're the only one out of order uh, out of action so let's go ahead and do a mission while we wait um this one we have to go no this is the one we're doing clean out the mercs and i kind of again want to split the difference get one cherry pick So the Vindicator is going to be manned by Medusa. I'm going to do a pause here. All right. This shouldn't take too long. Let's hope there isn't anything too, too beefy. We're facing professionals, so we should expect well-armed and disciplined opposition. We've picked up comm signals from this region, so that's where you should start looking. Keep them off balance and be careful. We can already see one. What was that? Were we supposed to be able to see that? I don't think we were supposed to be able to see that. Maybe a little bit of a visual glitch there. Enemy contact. So what is it? 50 ton mech. So what I was going to say is, I, I think if we had one more... Um, if we had like one beefy mech or one more 50 ton, ton or 55 ton mech, then we could conceivably take on something a little bit tougher. Why are our... Why is our lance split up so far apart like this? So we've got here a 50 ton and a unknown. Acknowledged. Yes, Commander. And we've got another 55. So this is going to be... Oh, we have a 75 ton mech. 75. What do you mean a crab? That's the one that I uh, saw. What is that? It's crab. Oh my god, Colonel. It's a crab. Holy shit. Look at the thing. Look at that thing. Look at it. Yo, I'm sorry, but this is what peak performance looks like. What is stopping you from looking like this? Mech medium. This is the medium mech, so that's not the 75 ton. I don't care if it's medium. I want a crab. Look, it even does little pincer animations. <laughs> and it's like my my ideal kind of like weird vehicle design. I love this thing. It's like, it's adorable. I want it. It's, it's less a crab and more of a lobster, I have to say. But I love it. I love this thing. And did you know? Did you know? There are blue crabs, so it'll it'll look okay with our uh, with our color palette. That's the important thing, honestly. Okay, time to time to destroy this thing, cripple cripple that which I love. Oh, it's, 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 I love it! I love it! He's beautiful uh what can we hit here it's got some laser one laser on its left side one large laser on its right side <clears throat> where where are its medium lasers what on its torso one okay okay so we don't have to do a precision shot yet let's just like hit it we don't have a oh we actually hit it with all of our stuff that was great uh, I won't lie, I'm a little worried. <laughs> what was that? What is that? Oh, another griffin. I'm happy for that. Let's just uh, hit one thing at a time for now. We could do a precision shot, but I honestly, I just want to continue slamming this thing kind of blindly kind of just like bet on luck for now head hit injured nice yes got 40 percent damage reduction let's uh keep to the forest i don't like that we can't make it to that other forest line um but how come uh how come our our oh stupid centurion is in the way 
shoot. Well, that sucks. We might actually hit our dude here a little bit. Maybe this is where we should use our precision shot. Yeah, let's aim at the arm. Did not knock it off. A marauder. Oh, oh God. Two PPCs. Oh, no. Oh. Armor's melting off. Look at that thing. Oh, gosh. Two PPCs. Ah, and it's, it's stupidly armored. Ah, this thing is kind of spooky. Lance command module. Called shots executed by this unit are more reliable. Oh, no. Units in this lance take 10% less damage. One sources provide this effect. Oh, no. Oh, gee whiz. Gee whiz. I don't like this. Okay. Um, as much as I would love to focus on one thing at a time, I, I have to hit this Marauder. We're going to do a um, called shot. Let's see what we can do here. Medium laser PPC, medium laser PPC. It doesn't matter what I hit here. But we do have AC ammo on that um, left torso. <clears throat> and we have the AC5 on the right torso. Uh, nothing on the torso. Heat sinks on the legs. So what we want to do is hit that left torso. At the very least, if we kill that left torso, um, we'll, we'll kill the AC as well, because they're that's their ammo effectively destroyed. Hit it three times. This is good. Structure exposed. You love to see it. Uh, Griffin. No. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do an attack with the blackjack first so that we can build up a little bit of morale. Oh, even if I move like right up to it, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to get that, that uh, sweet support damage. I can't... I don't want to do a jump because then I might not be able to hit it. I'm already not going to be able to hit it with everything. In fact, I already kind of want to just, like, punch the crab. <laughs> punch the crab. Let's do this. And, yeah, we're okay right now. And then we'll start punching things on our next turn. Oh, we hit it on its left torso there. I saw that. Ooh, we didn't get a crit, though. Okay, we've got long-range missile dude in the bush. Did we get we didn't get enough for a precision shot okay i need a precision shot with the centurion <sighs> okay <sighs> really really need that left torso broken off sir please sir okay um, we're just gonna have to take what we got. I don't know. I, I'm not building up that morale There's some good hits so some some good hits critical hit, Commander. critical hit I'll take it. Oh, no Vindicator Ouch No Vindicator ah. Oh, okay. that's, uh, that's real bad. That thing is overheating a lot, though. Okay, we can hit it pretty hard right now, and we can also do a precision shot. With three large lasers is actually not a bad thing at all. Hit that thing. Hit it hard. Yes. Pilot injured. Thing is really hot right now. Oh no, Vindicator, please. Don't die. I'm hit. Don't die, please. Waiting for orders. I just I just need to kill that thing. Confirmed. 
Why are we doing called shots? Is it like knocked over right now? Oh, I guess it's overheating. Shut down. This target is easier to hit and called shots can be made against it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that that was a thing. Actually, why don't we just hit it in the torso? Uh, I'll tell you why. It's because if we hit it in its left torso and actually knock off its arm, which is more likely, then it no longer be is a threat. I've been sensor locked. Okay, I'm cool with that, actually. Okay, Vindicator, you need to get the heck out of dodge. Yeah, oh, we lost quite a lot of firepower there. And both the legs are knocked off. I actually kind of feel like just bringing it out of out of the fight and doing sensor locks with it. Um, can we do a sensor lock on Let's do a sensor lock on that thing. That, you know, it, it can still be useful. Um, make things a little bit easier on us. That crab is just kind of sitting there. Can I can hit it with everything. I might be able to uh, kill, kill the Marauder. Overheat. Shucks. Let's take off one medium laser. Um, we hit the center torso. We might actually be able to kill it. AC5 crit didn't, didn't kill it though. But we did take out a cannon. Okay, it's, it's kind of back in the action. I think that's what that meant. So let's uh, see if we can't do a nice precision strike and, and kill it once and for all. Firing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. No, don't. Don't punch me, please. Oh, the crab's got... Oh, the crab's got claws, though. Okay, I, I might have to punch you back, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and punch you back. Take this crab. Take that. Pew pew. I mean, that's something. We still have, oh God, quite a lot on the field. Orders. I think, um, I mean that Griffin. Okay, we're gonna, this is, this is good positioning for the Centurion. I kind of want to just like kill the crab. What do we got though? One LRM 10 PPC. Another. Wait. No, that's an LRM PPC on the. These are both the same mech, exactly. Yeah, the, the crab is actually a, a threat right now. I'm amazed I didn't break anything off there. PPC is like n nothing to joke about for sure. We can actually hit it from here. Let's let's do that. It's a it's a risk. I understand that. Wow. Waiting for orders. Um I think I can shoot one more time on this crab before I have to start punching things to cool down. There we go. That's that's good. Okay, we have to start worrying about the the vindicators. Ah, uh, the blackjack just lo lost an arm. What did we lose? A large laser. Okay. 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 Um, wow, the crab still has quite a lot of firepower left. Um, I, I just need to keep hitting the crab, I think. Ah. 
how is it how did it not fall over oh my god no <laughs> Okay, I think it's in the best position it can be in. Um, I really just want to take out the crab. I know, I know. Listen. It's just like... Knocked down, finally. <laughs> it's not dead still, but it's at least it's not an immediate threat. It's got 70 health left. I can't take it out. Even if I hit it with everything. I may as well do some more damage if I can. Left torso destroyed. This is good, but... Oh god, it's still it's still a threat. No! Uh... <laughs> I'm really concerned. We might actually lose a pilot in this mission. Yeah, let's just do this. Please die. Finally. Finally. We have some built up morale. We can start hitting. Oh, God. Thank God it missed with the, uh, the PPC. Yeah. Armor breached. Yep, yep, yep. We don't have a large laser, but we do have a three medium lasers and a support laser, so we can start hitting it. Um, I'm not going to use a precision strike for this. I'm just going to hit it. I'm going to do precision strike with uh, the Centurion. I've got my good armor pointed. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Right arm. Oh, I did that exactly the worst. I wanted to point it like the literal opposite direction. It's good to go. Can't really do anything from here. Um, just going to jump and then do a, a, a sensor lock. We're not in a good position here. This is better. Acknowledged. You might notice I'm still being very careful with the long range Centurion. That's because like I cannot afford to lose that one gun. Nice. We actually have quite a lot of uh, armor with the other Centurion, but also we don't really have. We've we've built up too much heat. Got it. Um. That's where all the ammo. Let's continue hitting that right torso. And I'm gonna take off one large laser and then start punching. Oh, he missed once? God damn it. Cannot cannot afford to, to miss with like our largest guns. Oh, okay. Let's um hit it from this side. I think we'll be better in that position. I wish punching it from behind built some unsteady like if we could knock it over here. Oh, we did it. Nice Excellent <laughs> I like how it it's clipping through the ground How come uh, our, our uh, 
We don't have very good, like, positioning here. Is this better? No. Is this better? No. Why? Is it because it has height on it, on us, I wonder. Well, let's, um... Yeah, let's uh, move to a better position so we can actually start hitting the other griffin. PPC crit, nice. I've scored a critical hit. So our left side it has more armor, but honestly, we don't have any. Like this thing is in grave danger. I think we want to continue what we're doing. I'm just gonna build up um, some evasion if I can, and then uh, sensor lock the other thing. Unfortunately, that means the uh, other griffin is going to get a chance to get up. Yep. No! Oh. Lost eva evasive. Okay, we need to start punching this thing. can hit it from the behind or from the its left side but can't really do much outside of that but we need to do this so we we cool off a bit oh it moved ouch it even hit the black check so this thing's left arm is the most exposed right now Could do something like this. That'll give us the best odds of like doing the most damage. That height difference will will help, I think. Let's do a precision strike. And actually just go for the torso. We might actually take it out here. Nope. I think we we missed it. Like oh god. This, this guy isn't even, like, damaged yet. We have an entire, like, fresh mech ready to take out. So I'm going to start hitting it. I have to. What do we got? Um, its best stuff is on its left side or its right side, which I can't hit. We could just, like, try and hit the head and injure the pilot. And it's the um, the centurion is the best thing to try that with, Commander. because um, if I could maybe hit it with the vindicator, that might do it. Might give it a. We might have a good chance. The best. It's best to try it with the um, the centurion because we have like the most. We're, we're firing over the most things, and therefore we have the best odds of actually hitting its head. I don't like this, what I'm doing with, even thinking of doing with the Vindicator. Let's just shoot it. That was pretty good. Yes, we got, we got a lucky shot off. This is good. We've got we've got all of our uh, weapons here. We'll do a precision shot. Torso. There we go. Okay, so we just have to worry about that last Griffin. Enemy down. Um, same plan as before. I'm gonna try and uh, move away. Oh wait, that's the that's the other Centurion. This is the one thing that can actually hit it. We might be able to knock it over right now. Yes. 
perfect. Pilot injured also. This is very good. Um, I guess I can't really move anywhere right now. Because I'm, I'm standing on a pillar, essentially. Well, let's take off one support laser. Kind of want to try and hit it in the head. What's in its... All right, there's nothing really going on there. Does it let... His left arm has nothing? Right. Okay, so we, we kind of want to, like, either go for the head or the right torso. Kind of just want to try and hit it in the head. If we get a really lucky shot, we might be able to kill it now. No injury. And we're going to go for it. It's only a 4% chance. 2% in the case of... <laughs> Of our Vindicator here. Yeah, we didn't get it. Surprise, you know, surprisingly, we did not actually get it. If we're really unlucky here, we could lose the Vindicator and Medusa. Okay, they missed. Amazing. Receiving you. Um... I don't know. Roger that. If we like blow something off, I think we actually gain a morale bonus. Up, I should have saved that precision shot. That was actually really dumb. If I'd saved the precision shot and got the headshot, I, I, I could have ended it. I Left arm destroyed. Unsteady, side torso destroyed. These are good things. The pilot is injured again. This is the best news. Nice. Oh, God. Sign uh, signaled our employers that their operations are safe for now. Mission oh, God. That was... That was brutal. We lost a large laser. Honestly, kind of a blow. Um, everyone's alive. Blackjack took some damage. Oh, we could actually have a griffin. Oh, I have to take that marauder. I'm sorry. I have to take that marauder. I wish I could take a griffin part, but... Well, we did get a griffin part. Um, I guess if I'd taken a griffin part, we could have maybe built the, the griffin, but the marauder is way too valuable. Sorry, Griffin? Marauder. Marauder is too valuable. It's it's like that's a 70 to 5. That's exactly the kind of mech that we're looking to build. That was a, a pretty tense mission. <laughs> um, but it went well. I'm, I'm glad. We're going to need to do... Yeah, I know we're going to need to do some mech repairs. We did get some experience. Um, we're going to need to refit the blackjack. I think we do have a spare large laser. Yep, Let's throw that on there. Uh, we'll just repair all. 65,000, sucks. We didn't lose the um, the plus medium laser. That's, that's the good news. We didn't lose anything too bad on here. Just a couple of medium lasers. We have a PPC plus since when? Must be like since now. That's really nice. And we lost the heat sink. Okay. Looking good. 109,000. Oh my god. This thing caused 110,000 repair. Brutal. And, uh... Yeah, Glitch is out of action. Medusa is out of action. Everyone's out of action. But the good news is that everything, everyone's going to come back before our next financial report. Um, we can start making plans for the next mission. I still think we should do a couple of missions before taking on the next um, campaign. Next campaign isn't probably too bad. 
A lance built with long-range fire capabilities could pr prove advantageous on this drop. Further details will be... We could um, load up the second Centurion to be also long-range missiles. And then um, maybe maybe we should do the campaign. Travel to Panzer. This is travel to Weldry. Um, so we could do this mission. Pirate Lance escaped the battlefield. We believe they've managed to partially repair their mechs, and that means they're loose and the Argo... Th that uh, loose end that they are in a restoration would like to see tied up. Let's, um, let's do this. And we'll do 1-5 split. This is actually working for me. I like having one cherry pick because it doesn't feel like such a a dead loss. You know, like one cherry pick is, is you know, it feels good because you can potentially get a really nice mech part. Um, having no cherry picks can really suck because, you know, you just like, oh, good. We got like 15 more heat sinks. Big whoop. Um, doing too many cherry picks is not great because not like you there's only three or four parts in any salvage that's gonna really matter you know and i'm inclu including in that like weaponry you know like ppcs or even like um critically plussed uh weapons let's do this real quick the morning briefing darius has requested to pass along medusa and decker want to get some training outside of getting shot at by laser planet side Dr. Murad observes that we do have those training modules. They'd be ideal, especially for less experienced mech warriors, but I'm sorry to say that they're not up and running yet. Argo repaired con uh, temporarily hook up the training modules. Do it. <clears throat> oh, they gained 100 experience each. That's like nothing. You say to Dr. Murad, we we've invested in repairing the power conduits, so the training modules are nearly ready, aren't they? Perhaps a little creative engineering could get them up and running temporarily. Dr. Murad answers your challenge with a smile. Several days later, she delivers a report. Oh my god, the network kept going down, the graphics processors were overheating, and Medusa got stuck in one of the cockpits when the hatch wouldn't open. After a pregnant pause, that's a term, she finally laughs. It was amazing. We have to get these things up and running for real. She pauses. Also, I found the phrase, prop wash was here, scratched into one of the monitors, and WIST WTF, sorry, WTW, FTW. For the win all right wicked for the win on another i don't know what that they mean but it looks like they've been there for years i'm sure that this is deep lore i i am very sure that that is deep lore um but i yeah i don't know maybe if someone knows what that is they can let me know in the comments all right big simple finally gets the Training. tactician Decker also gets the tactician. Behemoth already has the tactician. Can take um, gunnery <clears throat> and uh, guts. Mech warrior training complete. Training complete. Just, just going to do more damage. Um, I would like Big Simple to have more guts. Training That's just complete. more health. What's up, boss? Would also like um, Decker to have more gunnery. And more guts. He's an actual like asset at this point. Um, he can only take three injuries. So if we give them guts, they get more health. Let's have a quick look at the store. Uh, we have an awesome <laughs> 80 tons. I've never seen that. <clears throat> Centurion, Enforcer, Locust, Quick Draw. Quick Draw is really nice. I wish I could get a Quick Draw. We don't have any parts, right? No. Flamer, medium laser, the cockpit mod. Cockpit mod is actually really nice. Resist uh, injury. You can understand why this would be really decent. I would like to buy this. In fact, I think I will. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else that would be worth taking. Um, so let's buy that. Uh, oh, items cannot be purchased or sold while in transit. Oh, I guess I'm in transit. We've arrived at Weldry, Commander. Ready to proceed with our current contract? No. Not at all. Okay, um, let's buy... I kind of want to take two cockpit... If I, It kind of sucks that they're pluses. I wouldn't mind buying two of these. In fact, I'm going to. 
Um, those are just very good, and they're going to help protect our uh, pilots from, from injury slash death. Um, since the Vindicator seems to be taking damage, and it is one of the lighter of the two mechs, let's actually just put one in the Blackjack and the Vindicator. Um, stopping work at this point is going to suck because we have five days left. So let's just go ahead and let that play out. Hopefully installing a, um, the Mech Warrior mod won't suck too much in terms of like days spent. What's up with the Vindicator? Why is it still damaged? Why is it still damaged? Did I like forget to repair something? I did. <clears throat> All right, well, let's do a repair three days. Not too bad. Um, and then throw um, a cock. Oh, shoot. That's going to take off this l support laser. That's fine. I think it's worth it. Yeah. I'm going to be cool with that. Um, it's actually underweight right now. I'm wondering if putting an extra heat sink wouldn't be a... Uh, it's actually got enough heat sinks, I wonder. Let's just max its armor. <clears throat> okay, it's still underweight. But I think it's... I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, and let's put the cockpit mod on that. And it doesn't weigh anything, which is nice. It's only going to take one day. So we're still good. We're still under that financial report. What um, what contract are we doing? I, I don't even remember. <laughs> but I think we're on Weldry. We're doing an Arana restoration mission, which is good. Um, so we'll do that in the next episode. Cool. Um, well, we should get a nice paycheck from the uh, from this mission. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.